All right, another fashion bit R is our um, subject word agreement. <laughs> subject verb agreement. I cannot speak. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I put up a video, but uh, October flew by and drove by all at the same time and it was just kind of a whirlwind. So we are back. We are posting our regular videos once a week from now on, Scout's Honor. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back to regular content, I promise. So, but today I'm bringing you some current favorites. It's not gonna be just fashion or just beauty. It's a bit of a mod podge of all of them and one like random favorite at the end. So, um, if you love these types of videos, current favorites, monthly favorites, whatever you wanna call them, uh, give this video a thumbs up, click that red subscribe button down below and follow me on Instagram at Tabitha the faith for more style inspiration but without further ado let's get into it should I start with beauty or fashion let's just go with beauty all right first up on the beauty list is YSL black opium this perfume is so lovely um, during the summer I like to wear it as like a night fragrance if I wear it because it is kind of a darker smell to me um, but I really love it when the months get colder because when the months get colder I really love it in the colder months should I say uh, because it just is so I don't know it's so warm smelling to me so I really I really just love it for this time of the year so I I busted it back out um, I love that I have the huge bottle of it so it should me should last me all the way through to the warmer months come again all right some makeup favorites that I have for this month uh, that I really have been loving are the Revlon balm stain lipsticks um, I have had honey honey dolce for a very long wait what or just honey what is this other word I don't know okay this is the shade 001 honey um, it's a beautiful beautiful like uh, just natural pink color maybe like a little bit of a dusty pink um, and then I just recently picked up the shade uh, 045 romantic and it is a really cool red shade it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now so as you can see they're really sheer and obviously they leave a bit of a stain hence the name balm stain um, but that's what I love about them is that they can be worn like every day and they bring like a, a nice like pop of color to your lips without being a, like a lipstick you know what I'm saying so um, if I do like a supernatural makeup, I'll just pop one of these guys on and like run out of the door. And I, they don't feather on me, so I don't have to worry about putting a lip liner on. Um, and they're super easy to reapply. They wear down really nice looking where it's not like super patchy and weird, even with the darker shades like this red. Um, so I really want to pick up like a purple for fall, like a berry color. Um, so yeah, these are really, really, really amazing. And I highly would suggest you picking some of these up. They're super easy to use. For the lady on the go so yeah check these out <laughs> you see him you see him so this is not necessarily a product but a company I'm a bit obsessed with at the moment and that is the ordinary I have a fair few items from them um, and I don't want to talk too much about it because I'm about to do like an updated skincare video that you'll be seeing but uh, one of my favorite things in the whole world right now is this uh, rosehip oil so 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 good you should check this out for real but I've got some new items in here I'm gonna be talking about soon so just keep your eyes and ears open um, but yeah I love the ordinary if you don't know about the ordinary they're a skincare line that is like all the rage right now because everything is so affordable. Like I think their most expensive thing is like 14 bucks maybe. Um, what is the most expensive one that I have? I don't even know, but I think like most of these, mostly all of these were under 10 bucks and they're all, how many ounces? One fluid ounce, duh, one fluid ounce. But that's so, so cheap for skincare and it's really good skincare. Like the rosehip oil that I like is organic cold pressed rosehip oil. What? For like eight bucks? What? How is this even possible? Um, I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, um, that a lot of their costs are 
their costs are cut because obviously their packaging is like super streamlined and minimal they're not like fancy names or things like that you have to they explain like what they are and what they do but you kind of have to do your own research as far as layering and things like that they kind of guide you a little bit but not like a not like a lot so um that's what i really like about them is that they're just simple and streamlined and i mean it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is what it is what it is who am i dr seuss right now i don't know anyways um i'm really loving the ordinary okay let's move on to some fashion first things first is Cabby hats. I love these. These are so awesome. I didn't know. I won't say I didn't know if I could wear this trend because I think in general, um, I, I like hats on me, that kind of thing. But I hadn't picked one up to really see. And so I got this one off of Amazon, but they are everywhere. This one is actually really thick and warm, but I really love this trend. I see myself purchasing a lot in the near future. Cabby hat, newsboy, newsboys, newsboys hat, baker boy hats, Greek fisherman hats. They're all kind of the same thing and I love them. They are so, so, so cute. And if you haven't given it a try, do try this trend out because I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So another fashion bit for you are these H&M uh, pants. I wrote a blog post about these, about how they are like some of the best denim I have ever had and about some of the denim trends that are going on. So I'll link that down below for you. But these are so, so cool. I love them so much. They're just the um, high straight pair, high waisted straight leg pair with the cut off distressed um, kind of crop at the bottom. They fit like a dream. I love them so much um, and yeah. I have no qualms about these. They were worth every penny. Um, I will post a picture of me wearing them somewhere, uh, maybe a couple of pictures. But yeah, they, I think they really flatter and they flatter pretty much every body type. So definitely give these a go. So my last fashion favorite are the shoes. I guess I could have tied the laces up, but whatever. Um, these are like brogue Oxford style suede shoes. Um, they are by Bass. And they're super androgynous. They're like the most androgynous thing I own. Um, and I love them so, so, so much. They look like, I don't know, like a, like a man teacher or man office worker. I don't know. But I love them with everything. I especially love them with like dresses and skirts because I feel like they add that kind of like mannish touch to it. Um, and yeah. Yeah, they just are, they've worn really well. I've had them for a year now, and I just, I just love it when suede wears in. Some people, oh, he's crying. Oh, gotta finish this video. All right, some people don't like it when suede, um, you know, shows scuffs and marks and things like that, but I actually kind of think I like, I like that suede ages and shows imperfections. That's just my opinion. So, yeah. So these shoes are fabulous. I can show you some of the ways I style them up on the screen right now. And uh, I would highly recommend checking out a pair of suede oxfords for yourself. So I stopped filming this video and realized I forgot to tell you about my uh, random favorite at the end. So if you'll notice, there's a, a bebe on the bed behind me because he was fussing and you might have heard him towards the end of the video. But I've got to tell you my random favorite, okay? So it is such, I feel like, an adult thing to be a favorite and I mean I should feel like I'm adult I'm almost 30 so but anyways my um, random favorite is finance podcast yes you heard me right finance podcast um, I really have enjoyed kind of learning the best ways to spend my money invest my money um, work out building a nest egg and retirement and all that jazz things like you don't want to have to think about in your 20s um or even in your 30s if i'm honest like i don't want to have to think about that but no one's gonna think about it for me and my husband and i we've got to establish our own financial life so it's been good so let me tell you a few of the ones i love in case you are interested in this kind of thing um one of my absolute favorites is so money with farnoosh Turabi. she's freaking awesome and she brings on a lot of really cool people i really like profit boss radio and a mo money podcast so those are some really cool ones um also afford anything 
what's it called? What's it called? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, the Afford Anything podcast. So, yeah. Um, a finance podcast. Who would have thought? I never, if you would have told me at 19, I would have uh, liked a finance podcast. I would have called you a liar. But here I am today. I like them. What can I say? All right, guys. So that is everything I have been loving the past month or so. Um, my current favorites at the moment. It could change tomorrow. Who knows? But um, I have a lot of things I'm trying out. So I'm really excited to maybe do some review videos for you guys or some updated favorites coming at you soon. Especially, like I said, reviewing some of these ordinary products that I just got in that uh, I've been really interested in trying out. So we shall see. We shall see. But that's it for this video today. Remember to subscribe down below if you are new and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know some new things I need to be trying out um, and until next time guys bye bye